Hello, welcome back to another 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. We have the dulcet toads of Reading in the background here. There's sirens, there's dogs. Needle, needle, needle. And kids kids screeching. Um, So we're going to have a lager because we're louts. Uh, Because fitting with the the Reading. We've just had a lager. Oh, now, uh, do you want to explain from the last beer review? Anyone who's still watching from there, what what ceviche is? Uh, Ceviche, yeah. So for those of you um, who like to view things in order, I'm actually listening. Uh... Ceviche, uh, the, the previous bit apparently goes well with ceviche. Ceviche, I had to look up, is a raw fish dish originating from Peru, which is normally uh, flavoured and accompanied with things like onions, chilies, and various other things, one of which I think is basically coriander. Um, it sounds quite interesting. It's like sushi, South American sushi. Yeah, there you go. So I've learned a new thing. There we go. So we got another lager to drink. Uh, this one is from Malta. The first beer in the book from Malta Ooh. I've drunk. So this is interesting. Um, this is actually made by Simmons. Oh, is it? Yeah, Simmons. Ah, so this okay. is the one of the last, the remaining, uh, I'll say about the beer in a minute, but it's the last remaining uh, name, remnant of the name Simmons. Massive, massive Reading Brewery. Yeah. So it, Up until it, the 60s? Is that when it croaked? Uh, yeah, and it, it is related. It's uh, there is a there is a link there. So um, uh, it's called Simmons Fast Fast and Sisk, and the name of the beer is Sisk. Here we have it. It's four point two percent. First brewed nineteen twenty eight. Um, nice can. Yeah, it's I've quite, got like quite, quite, quite a fine yeah. looking can. I don't don't know what it reminds me of. It says Malta's finest. Original. Hofmeister. Uh, off my set. excellent um, so uh, let's crack this open and talk about taste notes and I'll tell you yeah. what it's called Sisk and it's got some interesting tales uh, have you ever had this one before? no no I've never knowingly had a Maltese beer before I've had mal- Maltesers but not Maltese beer that's a late gag even my last bizarrely we actually did see this on our review day when we were in London didn't we? oh we yeah didn't we did it, didn't we yes that's right was that in that food hall? Yeah. That really expensive food hall in Elephant and Castle where everyone was being London and definitely middle class and woke. I'm sure it would have only cost us about £9 for half a pint. So, lovely can. Put that aside for a minute. Okay, tasting notes. Mm-hmm. A golden, orange-coloured, sparkling beer. Yes. It's rich hop aroma and pleasant bitterness combined with a mild stringency and lemon citrus overtones make it a fine thirst quencher. What did it smell like? Lagery. Doesn't smell much actually. No, it's 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 got a sort of carbon dioxide smell to it. I mm. think. I don't much care for the taste. I don't know what cheers and Maltese is, so cheers. Well, they speak English over there, so cheers, I guess. Cheers. <laughs> It's all right. It's not as nice as the Mexicali. I'm not. What? It's not as. It's not. As, it's crisper. That's for sure. It's crisper. It's less. It's less tasty. But it is a. I do like the. I do like the the crisp bitterness. It's yeah. It's. It's a slugger. It's one for a hot day. You want to sit outside, have something cool, not too challenging. Um. I imagine this would be nice with food. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad actually. Brewed and canned at Farsons Brewery, um, Malta. Hmm. So, um, a little bit interesting why it's called Sisk. Uh, so it's because uh, Malta's first private bank was set up in eighteen forty. Some of the locals had difficulty pronouncing the English word check and corrupted it to Sisk. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but then, then in 1928, the bank took over, to, took over operations of one of its clients, the Malta Export Brewery, oh, which yeah. had trading links with Augustina Brewery in Munich. Uh, Malta Export was in a race with local rival Farsons, which had English links to brew the island's first beer. The nickname of the bank's founder was appropriated, um, and Sisk uh, Munchena was born. Unsurprisingly, with the onset of World War II, the link with Bavaria and the beer's name was dropped. In 1948, the companies merged, creating one that melded English and continental brewing styles. Mm. It's a formula that works well. So the actual, so you've got the Farsons link, have the Simmons link, I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't really taste of much, um, but it doesn't taste of much in a... 
in a kind of relatively enjoyable way. It's not like, I don't know, one or two well-known UK available lagers that you could mention that don't taste of much and they're not particularly nice. Yeah. Um, this just tastes, it's just clean. It's you can crisp. mention them. We're not, there's no rules for this for this video. Carlsberg. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had to have Cronenberg 1664 the other day because the pub I went to, everyone had everything else. And I just realised that it's just taste of water. It's just rubbish. Well, I'm going through them at Weatherspoons at the moment. Um, a couple of Thursdays ago when I was out with some people from work, I set myself a challenge to drink all the lagers in Weatherspoons. Why would you do this? Because it's useful to know when I'm out and about in a similar situation to you. If there's nothing that I want to drink, have a look at the fonts. I now know that I won't touch Carlsberg. As much as they were banging on about it's been reformulated, it was like having sex in a canoe. It was terrible. Yeah. It was. It re really was awful. No, Carlsberg Heineken. The, 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 the Heineken was actually the best one. Oh, was I it? Tried. What yeah. About, um, what else did you try? Um, it was a Foster's. Uh, Hop House. Um, oh, what was the other one? I can't remember. Heineken was the only one that I thought. Oh, cause oh Bud Light and Cause Light. What do you think of Bud Light? Bud, sh Bud shite. <laughs> Cookie loves it. <laughs> uh, well, co Cookie's Cookie's Cookie. Yeah, he's a guy on Twitter, by the way, who uh, who is reasonably amusing. Um, yeah, the cause of course I actually didn't mind. In fact, it's actually this is possibly even a bit similar to cause I I don't in, I in, 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 the, right in the sense well. it doesn't really taste of much, but it does it t it tastes inoffensively inoffensive. Because yeah. actually, some of those lagers, some of those rubbish. some of those lagers are really don't taste nice. Whereas yeah. whereas actually you've got lagers like this and the cause lights, which are don't taste much, but but are fine. Yeah, they're yeah. they're 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 all right. I mean, I I've I've cause light is fine. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I suspect if I was sat in Malta on a hot sunny day and I had this, I'd be quite happy to drink it and I'd enjoy it. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's, it is what it is. It's, it's Sisk. It is. Well, there we go. We both had our first beer from Malta. Mm. So I think we'll leave that one alone. That we've done that one to death. Uh, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's... Um, uh, ah, does it pass the test of... Uh, which, if you went to a bar... Yeah. And you have the choice of this on keg or mm. Green King IPA on cask, what would you go for? Oh. Probably go for Green King IPA, I think. I would go for this, just for the novelty value. Because you, when have you ever been to a bar and seen that option? Well, that's changing the parameters of the debate there. <laughs> didn't, didn't, this, I didn't. I thought this was a, a, a straight no, I test was, I, was, I would still go for this because I think Green Hill IPA is a dreadful beer. In all, Even if it's kept in the best possible condition, it's still shit. I've had the, I've had the odd few that have been fairly no. good. It's just that it's incredibly rare to get them fairly good. No. Okay. Dreadful. Well, I must well, be okay, well, okay. Says I'm, uh... okay, the param okay, I'll set the parameters appropriately. If you went to a pub and you didn't know what the quality of the cask was like in the pub... No, I'd have that, yeah, of course. There we go. Because actually, most times you go into a pub and you see green IPAs, you, you don't and know... And on its own, you think, yeah, this exactly. would be terrible. Yeah. Exactly. So you'd rather go for this. Well, the dog barks. The review ends. Uh, bye. Maltata.